thank you for the opportunity to speak today at the opening session of the Iraq Digital Summit. As United Kingdom Boris Johnson's trade envoy to Iraq and as president of the Iraq Britain Business Council, I'm very pleased to offer my view on the exciting developments and possibilities of digital technology in Iraq. I believe that the digitalization of Iraq will provide the very best opportunity to benefit Iraq in many ways, in fintech for financial services, in agricultural technology, in educational tech and e-government. Iraq will see economic and social benefits to government, to citizens and to the private sector. If I may take the United Kingdom as an example that Iraq might study. In only 10 years, we have built a tech sector that is leading the world in fintech, agritech, education and e-governments. And the tech sector that is outgrowing other sectors in productivity, higher salaries and in prospects for young people with the creation of hundreds of thousands of jobs. Tech now receives more investment than the rest of the EU combined at $15 billion in 2020, only exceeded so far by the USA and China. The UK tech sector in 2020 now accounts for 10% of business and jobs at $207 billion to the economy and is set to add $322 billion to the economy in five years' time. The average tech salary in the UK is $74,000 a year, while jobs have grown 11% in the last two years, and the sector is growing six times faster than any other. The United Kingdom government took a very strong lead to reduce bureaucracy, encourage startups and private investment, and most importantly, to change the procurement system to favour small and medium sized enterprises and tech startups. The result fast scaling tech companies are collectively responsible for all net new jobs growth in the UK. The opportunity for Iraq is even greater with a young, technically skilled population, achievable changes by the Iraqi government can quickly and cost effectively unleash Iraq's technology driven entrepreneurship. Here are the steps that government can take to help reap the rewards of tech entrepreneurship. First and foremost, entrepreneurs require simple regulation. In the UK, we can start a company with a computer and a bank account within one working day. But in Iraq, it can take 167 days and there are company charges that prevent all but the most wealthy from starting companies. Secondly, the deployment of a positive procurement system for all businesses to pitch for government work helps small to medium enterprises and tech entrepreneurs. The United Kingdom has committed to spending 33% of central government procurement from small to medium enterprises by next year. Third, investment into digital and data infrastructure to ensure sufficient connectivity is available around the country. Additional investment in digital infrastructure should include cybersecurity design throughout. Fourth, a rapid move towards e-government to migrate taxes, licenses, information and online help for the citizen while avoiding corruption and bureaucracy. These four steps will bring several benefits. Tax returns for government will rise and corruption will be earned out of the system as middlemen are bypassed. Diversification of the economy from oil and the introduction of agri-tech will rapidly boost yields and agricultural systems and resources management will create new forms of productive work. The widespread introduction of online banking and financial services will make banks more productive and efficient as well for citizens and for businesses, while seeding tax and informational data for businesses in Iraq and beyond. Already, telcos can provide transactions via 40 million smartphones in Iraq, so there is the demand and capability to introduce fintech quickly. Finally, encouraging the big tech companies into Iraq will enable spin-off and new business platforms off the back of Facebook, Google and other platforms. The UK stands ready to help Iraq in all these areas and more through our government digital services. Tech UK, the DIT, 
GDS and IBBC members. Come and talk to us. Thank you for your time and for listening. I wish the conference every success and I wish Iraq every success as she moves down the path of taking the opportunities of digital modernization. Thank you very much.